too hot yet. And uh, coming to, to RBS, our host today, we're grateful for the opportunity to be here. And I am delighted to welcome you to this official launch of Giving Tuesday 2017. This is the fourth year that CAF has been leading the UK's Giving Tuesday campaign, and it's something we are incredibly proud of. And uh, since its beginnings in, in 2012, as, as we began to develop the campaign, it's grown enormously. It's now one of the biggest days of charitable giving in the UK. And it's a global phenomenon. And uh, you'll hear a bit more about that later on in the programme th this morning. The campaign brings together a diverse group of people, all committed to doing good stuff. Good stuff. You've got to get the definition right. In other words, doing something for charity on one special day of the year. We hope, of course, that that experience of uh, working on Giving Tuesday to do good stuff uh, encourages people to stay engaged with charity all the year round. And we're beginning to see some evidence of that happening, which is fantastic. Last year, 6.4 million people said <coughs> they heard about Giving Tuesday. That, that's phenomenal uh, in, in, in the UK. And 4.5 million said they took part, they did something uh, for Giving Tuesday that day. And more importantly, one in three said that they would be doing something in the future, they're likely to, for charity. And this is a direct result of, of the campaign. And if we can build on the success of this, we will reap benefits in the future. And we will build a better, stronger, clearer, more coherent society in this country than we have right now. But I don't want to use the wrong speech and give you a political comment uh, this morning. I believe that the Queen's wearing a frock uh, for the opening of Parliament because she's so cross at everybody for disturbing her ascot uh, visit. But that's not on the speech. Uh, last year we were proud to welcome several new partners uh, some of whom are here in the room today, and, and you're very welcome, and it's good to see the community of people gathering around Giving Tuesday growing. Royal Mail joined the campaign and celebrated the day by having a special Giving Tuesday postmark, so that all the mail that was posted on Giving Tuesday had this postmark on it, which was brilliant. Costa Coffee raised money for their foundation, and Movember celebrated their month-long campaign through Giving Tuesday. And the National Lottery worked with previous winners to build playhouses for children across the country, which is a great thing, because they exist, they live on, and kids enjoy them into the future, until they get trash, of course. Then we can build some more. And <coughs> We're proud of the work that the 1,600 organisations have done to support this campaign. And I'm delighted that we have two of our founding partners here today, to talk about their experiences. I'd particularly like to thank RBS, a great bank who has a heart for the community. Uh, they, they invest in our communities and we're grateful to them for what they do. But particularly this morning we appreciate breakfast and the, the fact that they're hosting us here. And I hope you leave this morning feeling inspired and motivated to make this year's Giving Tuesday bigger and better and more effective than ever. And it's my pleasure now to introduce our first speaker, or second speaker perhaps, <laughs> <laughs> Kirsty Bits, who is the Director of Sustainable Banking at RBS. <laughs> 